Kate Middleton shows off Taylor Swift's signature move and Prince William hugs her like a brother in Wales. They shed light on a community erased from history, Professor Uzo Iwobi tells people exclusively of his time with the Prince and Princess of Wales. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Kate Middleton and Prince William enchanted the crowd in Wales. The Prince and Princess of Wales, both 41, travelled to Cardiff on Tuesday to celebrate the 75th anniversary of HMT Empire Windrush in London, and the start of Black History Month in the UK. Prince William and Princess Kate stopped by the Grange Pavilion for the first time to meet members of Windrush Cymru Elders, Black History Cymru 365 and the Ethnic Minority Youth Forum to learn more about their work and local impact, before moving to Fitzalan High School to learn about student work with Black History and Careers lessons. The royal couple were in good spirits as they met and mingled with the gathered crowd. Kate even showed off a Gen Z approved gesture, heart shaped hands. Taylor Swift's signature move became an Apple emoji last year, cementing her place in the lexicon. Prince William and Princess Kate made a splash at the Grange Pavilion earlier in the day. Shortly before the Prince of Wales' departure, there was an urgent request for his guest to fulfill. She said to me, can I have a hug? You have been so kind to us, Professor Uzo Iwobi tells people exclusively. I said, I'm in. I grabbed it, yeah. It was a beautiful hug. Like a brother. The beautiful thing about him is how human he is, how modest he is and how ordinary he wanted to be. He didn't want to bow and things like that. He was a Prince of Wales that people could identify with, which was heartwarming for older people, he adds. Professor Iwobi, who also hugged Kate, is the founder of Race Council Cymru and oversees the work of Windrush Cymru and showed the couple around the Grange Lodge. William and Kate met the local elders who came to Britain on the Windrush and other transports in the 1950s and 1960s and looked them in the face and thanked them for their selflessness, for their sacrifices and their contributions, says Iwobi. One of the women was midwife Vernister Cyril, who delivered 2,000 Welsh babies and one British midwife of the year in 2006. She is now in her 80s. For the Prince of Wales to hold her hand and say thank you for her meant everything. They thanked everyone and said we appreciate your service and your contribution appreciates everything you have given to this nation, Professor Iwobi added. The excitement at the centre was palpable. Oh my God! Aunt Roma was running around I had to go get her. She is the leader of the Windrush group and wanted to bring Prince William house. She threatened to go to his house, Iwobi tells people. The pair learned about the history of the Windrush generation in Cardiff and South Wales and were then introduced to young people in the community. They spoke to people from multinational backgrounds, local white Welsh people. Get involved and understand what diversity is. It's not about a box, a classroom that teaches people not to be racist, it's about interacting with each other and building cohesion from childhood. She explains. The Royals also met members of the Cardiff Bay Warriors football team and played table tennis with young Muslim women. They shed light on a community that has disappeared from history. It is a light that cannot be extinguished. These elders will take this to the grave. They will never forget that one of the greatest leaders of their country thought of them, came all the way and said thank you, says Iwobi. Clifton Depar, 71, was one of those elders. The interaction they had was genuine and real. It was another sign that said, yes, we want to recognize your contribution, and here we are today as proof of that. 
They represent not only the royal family, but the country as a whole. They did that on behalf of the country, he tells people. Depar, who arrived from Jamaica in 1968 to join his mother, added, Britain is what it is today because of some of what you contributed. Many of the people here were pleased to have met the Prince of Wales and to have their contribution recognized at this level. He says the interaction came naturally for the couple. People here today were excited and friendly and wanted, even if just for a minute, to tell their stories and appreciated the way they were listened to, he says.